little farmhouse update for you. Here's what we've done. We've dug this all out. I don't know if you can see. Not a lot of light. But dug this area out, and I think right here, I think the best fix for this may be a retaining wall in there or something. Bust out that concrete, do something. Maybe another pour like that, square it off. Do retaining wall here. The idea right now is that I want to drain underneath the sidewalk. Let's hop over the tractor. Drain underneath the sidewalk and kind of come out here. Go down there. We busted out the foundation there. I found that service line for the electric. That's for that's for the garage. I mined this all back with the tractor too. Probably one of the best things I've done for myself in a while is bought that tractor. There's my hole. There's a couple inches of water in it, not much. Down through here, I cleaned out all these uh, wells here. That's gonna be replaced. Here's the, uh, that's a sump pump drain and it's not in good condition, it needs to be fixed. Here's where the, uh, the septic comes out of the house. Notice it's only like about six inches deep. And uh, here's a drain for a bathtub they did. Look at this mess. It's tied into that drain. It's just right there. Not good, but I got to go with it. Coming back here. Kind of dug this up a little bit. Took that tree out. found the service lines there to the barn so now I know where everything underground is I just got to find the water line up front I'm thinking I put a yard drain here or somewhere it's kind of a catch basin run my uh, I don't know what the term French drain or what kind of drain but a drain collect that downspout in a separate drain collect this downspout in a separate drain and then probably get creative around here maybe just cross over the sewer line get, then get underneath of it and then just go kind of out out like this It'd be a big trench but I don't know I, I think I can incorporate storm sewer with drainage at the same time in different pipes of course but and then here's our gas line marking or the locator so I want to come with those lines there that I'm digging I gotta dig four feet away from this line or two feet on either side and then tap it in here somehow and then probably go down in this low area and trench right to the sticker bush corner call it a day the foundation is a lot worse than what we anticipated. Basically, the house is just sitting on a uh, concrete block. We have it pretty leveled now. I don't know if you can see that bow in the roof. There's a big bow in the roof. That's the next big project we got to do after we figure out how to... Basically, the footing's only... You see how deep the footing is? In the northwest, it's not such a huge deal, but... Because we don't, we don't really get that cold here, but... That's just, I, I can't do much about this when someone else before me just really screwed it up. I just got to go with what I got. Either that or just spend a ton of money on this place. And once again, it's not worth it. So, we're going to have to try to come up with a plan. I got a concrete guy coming over here today. He's going to kind of maybe give us some more guidance on what we should do or the best way to just, you know, fix it. Then I got at the other end of the property down there, I got some massive drainage issues. I'll go down there and take a look.